Happy Sunday, Seahawks fans. Tyler Jones here with you. Wanted to give you a quick update on the Seahawks coaching search. Recording this at about halftime of the Cowboys-Packers game where it's always a good day when the Cowboys are losing. And that brings us to Dan Quinn, who is one of the main topics of today's video. So we have an update on the interview tracker with regards to Dan Quinn as well as Mike McDonald coming up on today's show. We're bringing you these at-home videos whenever there's an update on your Seattle Seahawks throughout the offseason through the coaching search, trades, free agency, the draft, and more. This is your Seahawks offseason headquarters here on Seahawks Today. Even on my off day, got to bring you guys content here on the channel to keep you up to date what's going on. Subscribe now for free and we'll keep you posted what's happening with your favorite team. All right, so let's begin with the latest updates from Ian, from uh, NFL Network's Ian Rappaport uh, from this weekend as we have our first two interview requests for the Seattle Seahawks for the coaching position. As according to Rap Sheet, the Seahawks have requested to interview Dan Quinn, no surprise, the odds-on favorite to land this job, and Mike McDonald, the defensive coordinator for the Baltimore Ravens. And we told you in our top candidates video a couple days ago that McDonald was one of the outside names to look at. There's going to be more names added to this list. And the reason why we know that is for sure is that the Seahawks have to abide by the Rooney Rule, which requires them to interview a minority coaching candidate. So... These are the first two, but there will be more to be named later. We'll see who those two are. We did hear that the Chargers were the first team to put in a uh, interview with uh, University of Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh. So I know that was one of the names on the Seahawks coaching search. We'll see if the Seahawks get added to that list, but certainly something there. Now, as far as these two candidates go, Dan Quinn and Mike McDonald, what it tells me is that the Seahawks are very open to the idea of hope uh, of hiring a defensive-minded head coach. Um, we have talked a lot on this program. A lot of you have been saying that you want an offensive-minded head coach, that you want to go a different direction than what we saw from the Seattle Seahawks team over the last couple of seasons, the last several seasons of defense first, right, in a defensive guy in Pete Carroll. Now you go this direction, uh, you know, and what we've heard a lot about Dan Quinn, for example, is how similar he is to Pete Carroll and what he did to be a part of this Seahawks organization in their previous Super Bowl run, right? And that it would be keeping a lot of the culture. So essentially, what this tells me is that the Seahawks uh, are very open to the possibility of trying to put in a fresh face, but doing the same things that they've been doing before with Dan Quinn potentially being that guy. Mike McDonald on the other end, this is somebody that is a rising star in the coaching ranks. Uh, it's somebody that I think is the top young coordinator in all of the NFL. I expect Mike McDonald to get a head coaching job somewhere. Number one ranked defense with the Baltimore Ravens. He's done a really good job. These are two different, I would say, uh, different apples here, okay? Yeah, both defensive-minded guys, but one is a new-age guy that is very young, that's on the rise, that's got a lot of upward trajectory at Mike McDonald. And then there's one in Dan Quinn, who is somebody you're familiar with and somebody that's head co been a head coach before uh, that's done a really good job. So... Although they're both defensive guys, two completely different aspects of it. And John Schneider's got a decision to make on his hands. Uh, and he's the one leading this coaching search. It was interesting hearing from Pete Carroll say uh, within the last couple days that this ownership group is not football people and that they don't know what they're doing. So more on these two in just a moment. But first, let's ask you here on Seahawks Today. Between Mike McDonald and Dan Quinn, which coach would you rather have leading the operation in Seattle. If it's Dan Quinn, type D for Dan Quinn. If it's Mike McDonald, type 
M for Mike McDonald. Let us know in the comments section below. Folks, subscribe to Seahawks Today. The latest happenings on your favorite team. We got you covered with daily news and rumors. We're doing our live shows every Wednesday. Uh, We're also doing Q&A interactive mailbags as well. Whenever there's going to be breaking news on your Seattle Seahawks, we're going to drop whatever we're doing. We're going to bring you content on the channel as quickly as we can. Whether it's when the new head coach is hired, you know we're going to go live. Uh, Whether it's moves that go on, trades, free agency, you know we're going to bring you updates Draft going to be here before you know it. This is your off-season headquarters here on Seahawks today. Trying to reach our next milestone, 49,000 subscribers. Help us get there. Subscribe now for free. You'll be glad you did. All right. So uh, let's tell you more about both these guys in these situations. I'm, I'm not surprised that the Seahawks have put in the request for these two. I want to see what offensive-minded guy is going to get in the mix. I hope that John Schneider is willing to listen and hear from an offensive-minded coach. I know a lot of you have been requesting Ben Johnson. We've talked uh, a lot about Jim Harbaugh, of course. Um, I want to see an offensive guy at least get into the mix and then see if they can stand out and make their case from there. Because early indications show John Schneider is leaning towards the defense side, but still early on, in this process of where this goes. Now, let me go through some statistics. Let's show you what we're talking about of these two coordinators and comparing to Seattle here, okay? The Seattle Seahawks this year, their uh, defensive numbers, opponents' points per game ranked 25th in the league, 23.6 points per game. Opponents' yards per game, 371.4 yards per game. That was 30th in the NFL. Uh, Opponents' points per play, 0.350, that was 19th in the league. Yards per play, 25th in the league, 5.5 yards per game. So for as much as they spent on defense with bringing Bobby back and Draymond Jones and drafting Devin Witherspoon and all that, all that talent that was there, it is very fair to say the Seahawks defense greatly underperformed uh, this past season, right? And there's no way in hell Clint Hurt is going to have a job back next year in Seattle. It's just no chance. Now, let's compare um, to the groups led by our coaching candidates here, Mike McDonald and Dan Quinn. Let's start with uh, Mike McDonald in Baltimore. McDonald in Baltimore, opponents' points per game, 16.5, first in the NFL. Opponents' yards per game, 301.4, sixth in the NFL. Opponents' points per play, 0.252, first in the NFL. Opponents' yards per play, 4.6, second in the NFL. Top six in those four categories, two categories ranked first, another category ranked second. Mike McDonald did an outstanding job with that Ravens defense this year. Now, let's compare to the Dallas Cowboys and what Dan Quinn did with Dallas this year. Opponents' points per game, 18.5, fifth in the NFL. Opponents' yards per game. 299.7, 299.7, fifth in the league. Opponents' points per game, 0.311, ninth in the NFL. Opponents' yards per game, 5.0, ninth in the NFL. So statistically, if we're going to compare the defense led by Mike McDonald to the defense led by Dan Quinn this year, edge goes to Mike McDonald over Dan Quinn. But what you can say about both of them is that their defense is Both teams, the Ravens and the Cowboys, were significantly better than the product that the Seattle Seahawks saw on the field this year. So in theory, if you are to go with one of these two guys, you should expect, you should expect this, dramatic improvement defensively with the track record of both these guys and what they bring to the table, what they've done this past year. Now, at the time of this recording, Cowboys aren't looking so hot against Green Bay. And that might actually... If the Seahawks are going to hire Dan Quinn, if he's their guy, that could actually speed up the process um, if Dallas gets eliminated earlier to bring him in to be the Seahawks head coach. But that's a whole other story. So now, what is your confidence level? Knowing that these are the first two interviews that have been requested, hearing what Pete had to say, criticizing ownership, saying they're not football people, what is your confidence level in the Seahawks getting this coaching hire right? Scale it for me in the comments section. One through ten, how you feeling? I'm, I'm skeptical. 
I, I am skeptical about this whole ordeal and how this is going to play out. I give it about a five on my confidence meter. Give me your confidence meter. Let us know in the comments section. Appreciate you joining us here on the special edition of Seahawks Today. Back in studio tomorrow with uh, the latest of what's happening on your CL Seahawks, this coaching search and more. Keep tuned for that. Have a great rest of your football Sunday, and I'll see you next time right here on Seahawks Today.